Okay, welcome back. In this tutorial, we're covering paragraph formatting, um, and then we're going to start to touch on layouts and automatic fields. So uh, we're going to cover the basics of formatting. Formatting can get pretty complex, but I'm just going to point out some of the things in paragraph forming that are the most common, um, and I'm going to leave you at that. I will cover them in detail in the advanced series when I get around to creating that. But for now, let's just take a look at this paragraph that I have here. I'll highlight the paragraph so you can see what I'm talking about. And make sure that your inspector is turned on. And we're going to navigate to the T and make sure that you're on tabs. So <clears throat> we've already covered lists, list in the previous tutorial. Um, just a quick reminder, list located right here and you can add bulleting numbers and uh, the indent level. But <clears throat> tabs is how far in the text moves in. Now the most common that everyone knows is by hitting tab on the keyboard, it bumps the text in a half an inch. And that's delineated over here by the tab settings. So in the tab settings, the default tab is a half inch. Now, if I increase that to an inch and a quarter and I hit tab again, I bring this down to zero. And I'm going to go ahead and put my cursor in here. Now, tab delineation is, you know, let's bring it up to two inches so you can really see what I'm talking about. Hit tab. Now, the paragraph, the first line indents two inches on that. So and I can bring that down back down to the half inch, which is the most common. OK, so the that's the tab delineation. Now I'm going to go back to paragraph indents. The next one allows us to indent the remainder of the paragraph. So in this case, we can indent the remaining text here. Now, this first line is not indented because it's considered it's counted separately here on first line. You would just have to bring this up to match if you wanted to do that. But <clears throat> As I've pointed out before, there's multiple ways of doing everything in pages, which makes it relatively simple. You can find a way to do uh, what you want that's convenient for you and familiar to you. And finally, we have the uh, paragraph indents the right, which you can see here it's pushing the right side in. You can see the uh, little arrow up here, the marker on the ruler pushing in as we go by quarter inches. And again, you can also type in here and type in three. It pushes it in three inches. Um, so you can delineate what this is with text or by using the arrows. So next we have tab stops. I'm not going to get into tab stops too much, but I'm just going to show you what they are. Um, if I hit a tab stop uh, from the alignment of the left and it's a half inch and I do a leader, let's say um, these dotted lines and I hit tab, you'll see the dotted line shows up at a half inch. Now if I change that and I up that to maybe one inches or two inches, you can see now that line is going two inches and you can add and remove these um, right here in the tab stop field but I'm not going to get into that that's an advanced feature so I'm just going to leave it at that now more we have some great options this is where we're starting to get into the fun stuff we're really playing with color and formatting um, I'm going to select the whole paragraph here so again you can see what happens we've got uh, borders and rules now we can select all kinds of borders uh, in this case we have a line dotted line and dots I'll select the line for now. You can see it puts a line underneath my paragraph. But if I select these little buttons on the top, I can decide where it goes. And I can select all of them and go ahead and box in my text. Now I can change that to a dot. There we go, dotted line, the little dots. And you can increase the, the points. So now it almost looks like Hollywood with some kind of show. Uh, something in the lights and then the offset of the dots how far are they offset from one another you can see I'm kind of walking around I'm going to go ahead and bring them back down to zero you can change the color of them just like we talked about the color palette before there's a lot of options for colors but you can have a lot of fun with these dots I don't know how well these will show up in the screencast but there's definitely a lot of colors here and again you can use the magnifying glass to pick a color from somewhere else <clears throat> okay so we've got the character background and we talked about that before up here, changing character background. Um, in this case, I had here selected a select strawberry. It changes that to strawberry, to orange, to green. And then we also have paragraph. We can select the whole background of the entire paragraph. Now, I should point out here, um, if you have a character selected with a background, it will retain that character. Um, so you have to take that off in order for the whole background to go to pink. See there, now the whole background's pink. Now, the following paragraph. Uh, if I was to type from here and continue on to another paragraph, it would follow the same formatting that I've got set here. Or you can tell it to apply to certain headings or 
take on different formatting styles. And I'm going to skip over breaks here, paragraphs break starting on a on a new page. That's not used that often, but I'm going to cover breaks here in just a second. And I'm also going to leave out the um, the language and the base shift. That's a little more of an advanced feature. I'm not going to worry about it right now. I'll cover it on the next uh, the next program that I do. So <clears throat> next, I'm moving on to um, layout. So if you click out the layout tab right here, layout inspector go to layout here's where we can do columns we can select text and create a column go ahead and do columns we can add multiple columns and right here we have a box keep column column widths equal so I unselect that I can make this box I can change this one to a half an inch and you can see here now we've got this this column is three and a half inches in the middle and these ones here on the outside are only a half an inch um, this is really great when you want pictures or text to, to bounce around inside of a template the way you want it to appear. Uh, columns are great for forcing that layout and forces the retaining of that layout. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off. And layout starts on a new page. It, we'd check that if we were creating a, a new page. And then layout margins. If we've got our layout here, we've right now we've got one inch margin here from the top of the page. If I reduce that, you'll see that this is going to jump up and let's see yeah it should be there we go so and then we have right margin we can increase that you can see the margin increasing here you can do a left margin it's increasing here so now it's making this little narrow column so this is an easy way of adjusting your margins you don't need to reach up here and grab these little arrows and move them around <clears throat> 